so we're here at the Arm TechCon at the, with Diamond Systems, and who are you? Uh, I'm Jonathan Miller, I'm the founder and president of Diamond Systems Corp. So what is Diamond Systems? So we are a manufacturer of embedded computers and solutions for uh, industrial and military applications. Uh, we've been in business for 27 years. This is an example of our boards. We make a lot of piece of 104 and small form factor boards. We focus on single board computers and I.O. as well as package solutions. And we're really, really good in, in uh, applications that require a lot of I.O and a lot of ruggedness. So vehicle applications are very, very big for us. Very rugged and a lot of I.O. Yes. Can you show some of the yes. cool examples you have here? Sure, okay, well, uh, here's an example of, okay, here's an example of a rugged SPC, wide temperature SPC. Um, is it, yeah. Yeah, you can pick it up. <laughs> here it is, so this is Athena 3, using an Intel processor, it has built-in analog digital I.O. A whole lot of, of, um, of, uh, of the features that people need in real-world applications. So and where where would they put this, for example? So this is a um, backside there. And yeah. as one thing just to point out, here we have an extra large, extra thick PCB. It's very, very important for vehicle applications because it makes it more resistant to vibration. It helps uh, improve reliability for the long term. So it goes in some could be some big machines that yes. that that uh, shake a lot, that vibrate? The, the uh, predecessor of this product was used in every single ground vehicle in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan in the uh, theater there uh, right. during the war. Um, in order to uh, to stabilize the, the guns mounted on the roof of the vehicles, so Whoa. that's what this board was used. And so what other examples safe do you have is here? One of our things. This part of one of the things you do. What <laughs> yes. other things do you have? So um, we have more SPCs. Here's a new single board computer. This is a very low cost one. This is uh, also same thing, wide temperature, rugged SPC with I/O on it. Uh, everything on board, uh, memory on board makes it more rugged. It's got data acquisition again. White temperature. Vortex 86DX3, what yes. is that? That is a single chip processor from Taiwan, which is very nice because the entire PC is on a single chip. So it helps reduce the size of the product. Uh, and um, also make that makes it more reliable as well. It helps get the cost down, size down, and reliability up. And then we have variable I.O. cards, just analog I.O., serial ports. This is eight serial ports. Uh, this is a very nice product here. This is a 24-port yeah. Ethernet switch. Yeah. This is a gigabit Ethernet switch with uh, 24 copper ports and um, and um, two SFPs, so 26 ports all together. 26 ports. 26 ports all together in a very small form factor, very very two. rugged. These are SFPs. This is for fiber. Two, two gigabit. Two. Each one of these is 2.5 gig actually. It's a 5 gigabit board? Uh, 2.5 gig per channel here, and the other ones are 1 gig. There's uh, Each of these connectors is 4 ports. So we have uh, 24 plus 2. What is this used for? Uh, this is used for a lot of backbones in all kinds of mobile systems that have a lot of computing applications. These days, uh, vehicles will have more than one computer. They will have multiple systems doing different things. Command control, navigation, communications, um, maybe uh, uh, weapons management, things like that. And so they will need to communicate between the systems. And they, want, uh, they also want redundancy, multiple wires in case something happens. So they want multiple ports. So you see a lot of things, especially underwater vehicles, where reliability is very important, they will use Ethernet switches. All those Sonar buoys and all the, all the little underwater vehicles, for example, when the MH-193 uh, sank or disappeared and they were searching under the ocean, they used an uh, unmanned underwater vehicle to search for it, and that had one of our switches to the side. So you go in unmanned, uh, unmanned submarines? Vehicles. Yeah, and airborne vehicles too. Drones? Sure. Yes, exactly. The big ones, not the little ones, but the bigger ones. The ones for farming and for um, um, uh, military use. All right. Yes. And so more CPU more more? boards. Ethernet switch again. What's the, what's the chip here? That's an Ethernet switch again. That's an eight-port switch. This is one of our top-selling products here. This is top-selling? Yes, one this of them? is one of our top-selling products. So what this can you do this? Eight-port Ethernet switch. The same as before, but only eight ports. And lower cost, smaller size. So this is for lots of networking. Lots of networking. There's lots of networking going on. It's very compact. It's very compact. It's basically one chip. So is this x86? Uh, x no, no, this is just standalone product. This is very similar to what you would have uh, in an office, except that it's ruggedized and it's designed for vehicles and military and rugged applications. So That's the only difference. So here at Arm TechCon, you, you were talking about some ARM solutions that you have? We have ARM solutions as well, right. We're actually relatively new to the ARM uh, market here. Yeah. Uh, this is our first uh, product family for the ARM market. This is called Eagle and Eaglet. We introduced yeah. this yesterday. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is Eaglet. Oh, we don't have a sticker here. Yeah. This is Eaglet. Uh, it's, a, it's a very small, compact ARM base board. And this is the typical ARM. This is the module that will go into it. Yeah. Can we open this? Uh, would you like me to put it in? Yeah. Sure. Just so this is uh, you, you have you're working in partnership with uh, Toradex, yes, right? Yes, that's correct. 
Uh, here, company. I'll plug Toradex. This is Toradex. Yep. They're our partner. They're the manufacturer of the actual modules. And uh, they are here at the show as well. And we are making the solution around the module by uh, making the baseboard that converts what you might call the last pitch of the circuit to put to convert the circuitry into real world useful um, functionality. So it just plugs in like this. And now you have a complete single board computer, um, just like the other ones there. And this runs Linux. Um, and is designed for all kinds of industrial applications. This is the backside. We have two slots for mini card and MSATA. Um, we have a real time clock with battery backup, of course. We have four serial ports. We have Ethernet, a VGA, HDMI, LCD, a USB, basically everything under the sun. And then over here is the, uh, the uh, their larger version called Eagle. So Eagle is the same thing, but it has this extra section over here for additional functionality. We have additional Ethernet, additional four serial ports, additional GPIO with optical isolation, um, and some other signals and functionality. Here's a camera interface as well. So, uh, so do you source all the, each of the components you have, you have the best quality and everything? You know, it's industry standard kinds of things. We have a long history in I.O., right? So we know all the uh, circuitry, we know who's the, who are the good suppliers and the software, all the issues like that. So we, we have a library of proven solutions that we use to put together a solution like this. So for example, on this board, we use a lot of XR parts because we are uh, a good relationship with XR, we have a long history with them, and they have some very nice parts. This part right here, for example, is a uh, multi-protocol serial transceiver, and it will give you RS-232, RS-422, and RS-485 all on the same chip, including line termination, and everything is programmable. So there are no jumpers to set. So that's another way to make a product more rugged is to eliminate the jumpers. And so that's why we use their parts. So ARM is a is a pretty interesting, uh, cool ecosystem, right? And uh, uh, it's your a little new for us, but it seems uh, it twenty-seven seems years, you say? It, yes, uh, twenty-seven years in x86 world, so, and, and six months in ARM. So that means uh, it's, it could be exciting what you could be getting into now. Um, yeah, doing. we're very excited because actually here today at the show, we've seen almost nobody offer a complete solution like this. Everybody is selling components. They sell a CPU or they sell a, an FPGA or they sell a software component or an IP core or something like that. But nobody is selling the complete solution that a customer can come to and say, hey, I want to deploy this ARM solution. Where can I get one off the shelf ready to run? Well, that's what we're offering. Otherwise, it's build your own every single time. But you were customizing lots of stuff around x86. Yes. And do you think it might be possible to customize even more with uh, so many ver different ARM solutions that might be integrated. I think it's very similar, actually. Actually, I think the x86 world is much larger, and it's, you know, it's been doing the same thing for a much longer time. So uh, the same concepts will carry forward into the ARM industry. All right. So uh, how, what kind of customer can approach your company and work on this? You mean to use the products? Yeah, so you can so, have all kinds of customers around yeah. the world, our, or most our, in the U.S.? We are, we are about 50-50 U.S. international. Uh, we have a very strong international uh, uh, sales channel in all the major markets everywhere in the world. Uh, we are uh, selling largely, let's say, 50% military. I'd say about 25% uh, transportation, 25% will be energy, medical, industrial applications. So they would approach you and say, we'd like to do that, and then you can consider, uh, talk about how to do it, and then maybe you can do it. Yeah, this is really a value-added uh, proposition here. What happens is we aren't just selling from a catalog. We're selling solutions to customers. So everybody has their application a little bit different. They always need something special. So that's why we have products that are expandable, again, with the, with the expansion sockets here and even on here to add functionality. So we can take a standard product, we can customize it by adding features, we can cost reduce it by reducing features, or make a custom model by starting over, just starting from a, a, a base design and adding to it whatever the customer needs. So every application will be a little bit different, and we apply our expertise in custom design and I.O. to provide that solution for customers.